So we are recording. Okay, so today is February 11th, 2021. This is Kathleen Butler, and today our guest is Sharpie Wilson. I do have some announcements to make uh, before we get into our discussion. And one of those is to let you know, these meetings are put on, they're made possible by the Spiritual Response Association themselves. These are not my personal meetings. They are sponsored and presented and marketed by the SRA. So if you're really liking them, please make a donation directly to the SRA. You can do that on their website or in some other way. Also, um, keep in mind that if you're looking for new charts, things like that, you can always contact the SRA office directly and I'll be putting their information at the end of the meeting for you. And you can also contact your local SRT teacher to um, talk to them about retaking a class, which is also an excellent way to end up getting new materials. All right. And just a reminder, this is free. So I wanna thank the SRA for making this possible and uh, allowing me to co-host them for this period of time. They, uh, SRA has a YouTube and this will be presented on their YouTube channel. It will not be necessarily on an other people's YouTube, um, but we may share it on our Facebook with you. Although there may be moments when everyone's muted, there will be interaction during today. So uh, we love comments and Shaki will, has a part of her presentation where she really would like some participation. And as I mentioned earlier that I have the privilege today to speak to Shaki Wilson, who's been part of the SRA before basically there was an SRA. <laughs> So she's been consulting and teaching about mindset um, since 1991 and is a certified teacher and a minister of the spiritual response therapy. She studied mindset and a wide spectrum of personal growth processes. She's done this for decades and she has a wide knowledge base in regard to mindset and SRT. She's taught and consulted with thousands of people to help them uh, fully realize their mindset. So her expertise is consulting with women who struggle uh, with business and she teaches them how to improve their sales through mindset, but also their personal value, realizing their personal value. She's uh, not a conventional consultant or teacher, but she did come across the SRT system while testing every other process. And this one, she found really gave um, a quick option, a quick response. So she's helped, uh, SRT's helped transform her life. Um, and she mentioned that she did have some, uh, it's helped with depression, feelings of isolation, helping her with her business, uh, her calling as an educator and building a life surrounded by a healthy 45 year old romance. So congratulations on that very much. So SRT was so effective that she chose to pass on pursuing traditional uh, counseling and to focus on this. And a lot of her clients, as many of you may have also noticed, her clients have had a lot of results with the work that she does. And before we get into the topic that she's going to talk about tonight, and thank you for joining us, uh, I'm going to do a meditation. And then I'll turn some of that time back over to Shadki and I will be muting everyone. So let's take a deep breath in and release out and take another deep breath in and release out. And feel the comfort of your chair, the comfort of the floor. 
Taking another deep breath in and recognizing the support that you give yourself, that energy that surrounds you. And let's take a moment to think about who we are as we breathe in and breathe out. And in the beginning, in the beginning, there was spirit. And in the beginning, spirit created the heavens and the earth. And spirit asked God beings to assist and said, let there be light. And there was light. And you are the light. You are the creation. You are the extension of spirit. You were created in the image and likeness of spirit with a desire to evolve and become your ultimate self. So take a moment to say to yourself, I am a spiritual being. I am one with spirit. Spirit expresses through me. I have a body, but I am not my physical body. I am a spiritual, eternal being. I am one with spirit. And take a moment to see how this feels, this remembering. Recognizing the oneness, the light, and the love that is yours. And open your eyes when you're ready. We have some questions that I wanted to ask Shotki before we get into our conversation. And I wanted to chat about your experience as a spiritual leader and teacher, Shotki. So I know you and I have talked about this. I mentioned a little bit of it in your bio, but what started you on your spiritual path? Well, it started out with trauma. I think many of us who are on a spiritual path kind of started that way. Um, for me, it was an early trauma of my mother dying when I was 14, 15. And when she died, I had a, a pattern of low self-value that started. And I was just unhappy and in a depression that lasts for seven years. And my dad had issues with low self-value. So my desire for a spiritual power was like, I just want to be happy. I had no career that I wanted to do. I just got to be happy. So it was my desire to get out of that depression. And I learned the beginning of it was I learned how to meditate. So that's how it all started. Excellent. So, um, when and how did you meet Robert and Marianne? I find this to be an interesting story. <laughs> it's, it's a great story. And I, I think a lot of you will, will love it. Uh, so after I was um, learning how to meditate, I got involved with Eastern philosophy a little bit. And then hence my name, Shakti. And when I was in my 30s, my husband was trained as a unity minister. And in the ministerial program, uh, Robert, there is Robert, who is a class ahead of my husband, and Marianne in my husband's class. So I know them for many years. I knew them before anything of SRT was even thought of or created or downloaded from Robert. And I have such a very special connection with them. And it has uh, been such a blessing of connection and spirit. So what happened was, in 18, 1989 or 1990-ish, Robert had sent a video to that he created of this process, called it SRT, to all the unity ministers. And he had 
told everyone that he and Marianne left the San Jose Unity and they were doing something else. And my husband said, well, I have a video to show you of what Robert's doing. And I said, well, what's it about? He said, well, all I heard was he's doing something else and it's helping more people than all his years as a minister in the counseling that he was taught. And I said, well, what is it? And he goes, well, all I know is he's using a pendulum. And I'm telling you, my first reaction was, that's crazy. And I didn't know what that was, but I said, okay, I'll watch it. And in unity, affirmations are used a lot. And I always had this, this energy in my mind of why are people's lives changing fast enough after they're using an affirmation? And so that was kind of running in my mind. And the first part of Robert's video, he says, as soon as I opened it up, he says, Affirmations don't work because there's a block in the subconscious. And here's a direct method to find out what it is. I went, oh my God, that's exactly, that's the, that answer, you know, that I was wondering about. And also behind the scenes, I have, was intending to find a way to help people spiritually transform. You know, when you, you, you have a desire for something, sometimes it doesn't have to be real specific. Um, mine was just to help people spiritually in a real direct way, real powerful way. And there it was. So I'm living in Oregon and Robert and Marianne moved up to Washington State. So I call him right away. Robert, tell me about this. What's going on? What is it? And he says, well, I have to visit family in Portland. I'll be at your house in two weeks. I'm like, okay. So the clearings we did uh, were just amazing. And I'm telling you, I would say in the first 10 minutes we sat down, Robert nailed it. It went directly to my mother issue, which I said, no, that's, that's ridiculous. I worked on that. You know, I, I did all my work and obviously not, you know, there was something else. So I said, well, what does she want? Well, she's hanging around you waiting for you to forgive her. Well, I thought I did all that. So we did some clearing work and the energy just left. That energy never came back. And what happened was I then regained my personal value. It was not the value I perceived of myself because someone left me. And I knew I was onto something for myself. So I said, whatever this is, I need to learn it. And so I created a class. I learned the method, worked on myself for a year before working on anyone else. So this low self-esteem, it had to stop with me. You know, when if any of you have any children, you know that how important it is that we work on ourselves. And I knew that this energy had to stop with me. Some people have another pattern that they want to stop, but this was mine. I was not going to allow it, this belief to be passed on to my kids. So I worked on myself for a year. Then after a year, I asked Robert if I could teach it. And he said, well, there's no teachers, there's no manual, there's no instructions. But he said, I'll get back to last spirit. And I said, okay. So he comes back and he says, yes, spirit says yes. So I just started teaching, being spirit guided, no books, no manuals, just charts. And so I've been certified teaching since 1991. And a fun fact is I looked at my uh, ministerial certificate from SRA. I'm a minister of SRA. And get this, it's today, February 11th, 1997. And I thought, wow, that's amazing that I'm going to be talking to everyone today. So that's how it all started. Excellent. Did you want to share anything about your trips while with uh, the in London or any other place before? Oh, sure. On? Okay, oh, sure. That was, that was so much fun. Um, in 1994, there was a letter sent out to all the teachers uh, asking them if they wanted to go to London with Robert and Marianne and um, be there as support while they um, do a convention. It's a world convention of healers. And they were going to go teach a class, but I would be part in helping in the convention. And as soon as I saw this application, I just said, I'm going. You know, when you have that insight, like, you know, it's going to happen. So I was chosen and a funny tidbit is I heard later that Robert had a dream that I was the one to go with them. 
and but they had to offer it to all the other teachers so that was just kind of fun um, I love being both with them uh, with them we had so much fun together we just get along really well we stayed in a youth hostel which was half hospital half hostel and Robert and I would go into the common area and we would do clearings for whoever came in the room all the healers from all over the world would stay there and we would just have so much fun we'd be there together for hours and one time we were at a at, at, during the convention there's a six foot table I'm at one end Robert's at the other and Marianne was um, scheduling us and we had 15 minute clearings and in the middle of one of the clearings I got I got stuck I, I couldn't get it you know what this person needed to know for me to and for me to get to clear so telepathically I said to Robert I'm stuck what's the issue and so he's he says out loud, sorry for interrupting Shakti, but the client hung himself in a past life. <laughs> so he heard me, he heard me. We just had such a sweet uh, connection. And um, another funny little tidbit is Marianne and I, she remembers this a funny story. Um, and she even had to put this in a newsletter, which I thought was hilarious way back in 94. Um, we were walking through town and we needed to find a restroom and they they charged money to use the restroom and i said no i thought it was the craziest thing that i uh, for me to pay to go to the bathroom so i just didn't want to pay to go to the bathroom and we just walked around until we found a free one she thought that was hysterical and we just laughed a lot about it um but there was an interesting thing that happened um after the convention that i wanted to share to all those who are practitioners and teachers if you don't know about this, this is another tip. After the convention, I was leaving to travel to Scotland and Paris by myself. And for some reason, um, I, I packed, but I could not leave. I had no fear, but I just couldn't get out the door. So I asked Robert to clear me. And while he's clearing, I felt like I, I had to throw up. It was just something was releasing. I had no idea what it was. And his, re his research revealed that um, I was killed in a past life on the same pathway as the train was going that I was gonna go on. And so it took about 10 minutes and I didn't throw up, but I just felt that something being released and then it was done, then I was ready to go. So the SRT tip is ask you if you're planning to travel, ask if you have any past lives in that area that you're going to travel to and clear it. It will absolutely make travel easier and I, I do it every time that I travel. So that's a fun tip. Those are my London stories. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's really wonderful to learn more about our community and yeah. people in it and how they knew the deserts, but also how you found out about SRT. Yes. Exploring your spiritual path. And I think it's also really wonderful that you focused on something so important, such as value. Mm -hmm. So what, um, how would you like to get into, because I know you wanted to have a discussion about the mindset of personal value. Did you want someone from the audience? Do you want to start? How do you want to in integrate that? Well, I wanted to just start with, um some examples of what happened um in reference to personal value with some of my clients it's just an examples and if somebody wants to um have a question about that i want to talk a little bit about what mindset means and then we can ask if somebody has a question about it um the greatest thing that happens for me is as, as a teacher is when somebody gets that flash of value, it just lights me up with my purpose. And it happens every single time I use SRT. So whatever your, your calling is, whatever your gift is, make sure that you have that in your teaching, in your um, sessions that you have with people. For an example, there was one lady who didn't have any friends. And she called and she had accepted the value that her mother placed on her, which was none. 
absolutely none. Her mother raised her worthless. So we did a clearing about it. And then she goes, this is like within two days, she goes to a buffet to a restaurant and the lady comes to sit with her and they become connected. And then the lady asked if they could meet again. And my client got her, she got her value, you see, within herself and attracted a friend, okay? Another example is when uh, I was teaching a class, we were talking about spiritual reparenting. If any of you remember that sheet that you read, you process if anybody needs it. So we repeated it in class together. And then the phone rings. The man who was hosting the class, I said, just go get it, go get the phone. And so he answers the phone and it's his father. Now get this, he had not talked to his father in five years. And we just all cried because we saw he was crying. We all cried. What happened was he let go of the value that was placed on him by his father, that he wasn't enough. And he gained his own value back just by doing the spiritual reparenting. He let go of that father's perception of his value. Now he was able to connect with his father and open up and get a good job. And there's just one more story that I wanted to share, real powerful one about a value. I was teaching a large uh, four-day class in a woman's home. And in the second day of the class, she comes up and she says, I want more of a discount for hosting the class. I'm like, this is so odd. I said, let's go outside, you know, let's chat. So I said to her, you know, this isn't about money. What's happening? And she starts crying, but doesn't know why. And so she was like the type that she was not showing up in class. She was almost like invisible. If you hugged her, it was like a feather. Like she wasn't grounded and strong in her body. So I just said to her, if you show up in the class, we'll talk again. So third day, nothing. Fourth day, last hour of the class. I'm not kidding. There's a man who was doing a clearing with her and he needed help. So he says, Shakti, can you help me? I went in, checked the charts. And within two minutes, you know how powerful SRT is in identification. In two minutes, blocked energies, grandfather, age nine. So I said, what happened? She said her grandfather died when she was nine and he was the only one that loved her. So she was not able to, to work or have relationships because she her value was based on him, it wasn't based on herself or spiritual connection. So we cleared it and she got, you could tell she like came back in her body. She walked back into the class and everyone was amazed how powerfully present she was. And I did hear from her since then and she was able to have the career that she wanted so those are my stories about how personal value can really make a difference because they come from the patterns. You know all this. They run in your subconscious and they can either run your life with joy or they can ruin it with limitations, sadness, unfilled careers. We get to choose positive or negative. So it's a value that we place on ourselves. It's like when we're younger, we have a flower and we pick the petal, the daisy petal. He loves me, she loves me, he loves me, loves me not. And it seems like we do that every day to ourselves, depending on the situation. It changes if we're not aligned with spirit. So that's the main thing. Shanti, it's, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. well, so I, <laughs> you go ahead, you finish. <laughs> okay. So where do we get these from? And you know, we create it ourselves. We're so creative. We can listen to others about it, our family, friends, school. And if we're really into it, you know, we can carry it from a past life, right? So now, you know, my message is, if you want an affirmation from today, is my mindset of personal value now comes from spirit, from nowhere else from no one else. So if you were to recap, because you were saying, let's define what a mindset, personal value mindset is. And what I've heard you to say is that your personal value comes from spirit. 
Is there any other words you would like to add just to remind people what the mindset, what their personal value mindset is? Like a definition? The mindset are, is a group of patterns that we accept. Okay, thank you. That's all it is. Excellent. Does anyone want to unmute and ask a question? Because I don't have any questions in the chat box. Do you want to do an example, Shakti, of your work with anybody here on the call? Um, I can do that. I can chat a little bit more about. Oh, someone just raised their hand. Just OK. So I have a question. I just mm -hmm. wanted to know what's the difference between um, belief systems and mindset and a belief system. Yeah. So what's the difference between a mindset and a belief system, Shakti, is what they're asking. I think the belief system comes first, which creates the mindset. The mindset is the strong pattern. And depending on what belief system you have, you create the mindset that goes that supports it, positive or negative. Mindset is this is the way it is. It's either a positive or negative. And it's that belief. That's why we love SRT because it gets in there and it says, this is my belief. When did I pick it up? Who did I pick it up from? Present life, last, past life, clear it. And then naturally your mindset shifts. Yeah, similar to perceptions, it sounds like that they have similarities. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, the person that had the hand raised. There's one hand raised. Maybe that was the question we just answered. Anyone else have a question for Shakti? Oh, here you go. Uh, can you have a positive mindset and have a block to embodying it or living it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you just check your charts. So here's a question that you all can do right now. I would love this. What's the percentage <laughs> of positive personal value that I have for myself? Do it right now. So what is the percentage of positive value, value that you that have, I have for yourself? For myself. Okay. I check that. It because remember, bad. the positive, um, the value, remember, it changes all the time, like I said, from situations, right? We want to really get that our personal value does not come from situations. It comes from our connection to spirit. So when you do SRT, your personal value is spirit. When you do that, everything else shifts. So we don't flip back and forth. Okay, so Shakti, if someone gets like 60% or 70%, um, would they go to chart one and ask why? How would you suggest for them? Yes, go to chart one. Ask why is it not 100%? Yes, you want it 100%. And, you know, as practitioners, I would say this is so important to do. Um, that you to realize also that SRT is for us to really up that level of our connection to spirit. And it ha can happen in a flash that you get out of present moment. You know, somebody, something happens so fast. You know, you get a phone call, you get a friend, get stuck in traffic, whatever it is. So when I first learned SRT, I just... I use it intensely for a year. I mean, I said I use it for a year, but I use it intensely. It's just like, no matter what triggered me, my kids, my husband, work situation, I just went, I'm off center. In other words, practice knowing when you're off center. As soon as you're off center, you go to chart one, like immediately. I was doing it 10 times a day. It's just like, I'm gonna nail this. I'm gonna break this pattern of low self-value that I had. And SRT just did it. it. And so here's something interesting that happened. So remember my everything, everything when I would, no matter what was triggered for me was my core issue of my mom, right? So no matter what I would, came up, I would go to chart one and go, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom. I kept doing that. But within a month, 
never showed up again since I started it. Now that's amazing. How many years of therapy do you have to go for that to happen? So exactly. now some, something else will show up, but it doesn't go back to that because every time you do SRT, it clears that. And then if it comes up again, it, it spirals up. It never goes back down to where you were. Remember that if somebody says to you, well, you cleared that. How come it's back and you tell them we're clearing more subtle level. You're never going back to where you were when you first talked to me. <laughs> Guaranteed. Excellent. Any other questions for Shaki? Great conversation we're having. I really appreciate your perspectives. Anyone else have a question? You can always just unmute yourself and ask as well. So okay. there's another point, you know, if no one has a mm -hmm. question. Yep, is, no questions. Go ahead. Okay. If we do not have high personal value, what happens? Look at your life, okay? The relationships um, can suffer. Well, how would that show up? Uh, we can attract challenging relationships. We can have appeasement in relationships, do more for others than ourselves, or maybe no relationships. Our career can suffer. Not being able to fulfill our passion, we hold back, not enough sales, block purpose, afraid to tell people what we do. So it's because like I was raised with low personal value that this became my path. So I love helping people tap into that personal value that's always been there, that spiritual connection. It's our spiritual presence. So now that my clients can go out and have fun with their purpose, their career, express their talents in their business. Okay. So um, one of the students have a question. Are there any other basic questions regarding value that you would suggest they explore? Um, you can write this one. Um, do you value yourself enough to have successful relationships? Do you value yourself enough to have a successful career? So do you value yourself to blank? Yes. Have a positive relationship, have yep. a positive career. Yes. Okay. Or fulfilling career, whatever. Yes. Okay. And you could do the percentage. The percentage is fantastic. Yes. And then, you know, you know, today you could be a hundred tomorrow. Somebody will look at you funny or give you a negative on social media and you'll go down to 50. <laughs> You have a method to get yourself back up if you get any negative feedback. It's fantastic. I've never, I've never had a system shift me so fast. That's why I love it. And look, I've been doing it for so long and it just blows me away every single time. And you know, if I have a client, I know nothing about them and it nails it. Right? And if you have that experience, shake your head. It goes direct, right? So we have to use it for ourselves so that we can be with our people from spirit so that we're not bringing our wounds with us to the session. Clear yourself before the session really is important. Exactly, always be your first client. Janice, Janice, who's an uh, SRT teacher, has a comment or a question for you. Janice, go ahead and unmute yourself. Okay, just figuring out all, all the buttons here. Um, Shakti, um, one thing that I want to support your work with is this, um, I don't know if you know Byron Katie and her four questions. Yes. Okay, I love the way she says, and this complements what, with what you're saying to us tonight. What other people think about you and what other people say about you is not in your business. Correct. 
What other people think about you, mm -hmm. what other people say about you is none of your business because it's their judgment. It's That's their right. misperception. They haven't got a clue what's in your heart. Right. They don't know your energy. They don't know who you are as a spiritual being. They know nothing about you. They're just talking off the top of your head to just let it go. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I always find that very empowering and gives me, like you said so well, a chance to come back and balance myself and to own my own value. And um, I, I just wanted to put that out there as Thank sometimes you. we need something quick in our head to fall back on. Yes, absolutely. And when that person gives you a negative, check in. How you feel? You know, did that trigger you? If it did, chart one. <laughs> yes, and get your value right back up there where it you'll, belongs. You'll you get it right back, and then you'll have that perception that Janice was talking about. Yeah. So that's like a barometer. You can kind of test it. Next time somebody says something, oh, then you know, mm, I'm good. I'm connected to spirit. You know, I'm connected to my value. You know, that's, it's a great, you know, idea that you're sharing. Yes, I know about that. It's, that's when it's helped me a lot too. Holly, on, oh, excuse me. Holly, Andre, you had a comment you wanted to ask? Yes, hello. Um, I was uh, cleaning my 60% value. So <laughs> I went to a graphic one and they sent me to the, I have my graphic in Spanish, so I don't know uh, how to say in English. Is the graphic 25. The first thing is like something high or very, you know what it is? On 25? 25. The first, the first, the first one. The first word on chart 25 is things that are hidden, buried, or covered up. Yes, that one. Just, just this. And uh, the, they gave me a 100% value. Just clean this. But uh, I have a, the, this. My question is these things, the things hiding or hidden, uh, is just um, like a recurring. Rec, uh, is, ay, no sé cómo decirlo. Me sale siempre. Este, si alguien me ayuda en inglés, ¿cómo se dice? Yeah, that's the one. Know. Recurrent. Is it reoccurring? And it, it's, it, it's just the one thing I had to do now, and I, I'm going, uh, I just cleaned before many times in these two months before. So maybe you have um, some advice or suggestion for me. So I don't are know you if saying you understand you, me, sorry. Are you saying you don't know what's hidden? Yes. You go to chart one. Yes. So the thing that I, I practice is that when you're using the upper charts and it gives you something you don't understand or more ethereal, you ask spirit to clear it. But what I do is I ask, okay, spirit, give me something that's practical that I can tell my client, give me something practical. So I'll go back to chart one and I'll say, give me a chart that will explain something that they can understand. So if you're on chart 25, I would go to chart one and just say, what other chart can I go to so that I'll get an understanding of what spirit is talking about? Because like you read chart 25, you can clear it, but it, if it wasn't clearing, you need something to connect to. So that's what I would do. Go to chart one again. Give me something practical so I can understand. Okay. It's Thank like you. saying, asking for a hint. That's how I usually tell my students. Well, yes, for a hint. exactly. Is there a hint? <laughs> Is there a hint on the charts on what that might mean for you? Yes. Or even if you can't explain explain it to say well what area I might go to chart two and say what area of my life is that influencing in a negative way which is why I had to clear it you know just to get that insight of like oh it was causing an issue here or there but you can always ask for more information um, but I think it's important what Shotki said is you clear it first because you really the upper chart you don't have to know what it is that's hidden 
you can clear it, but the insightfulness, you can go back to chart one and ask for hints or information that would help you. Yes. Right. Excellent questions, everyone. Good and questions. comments. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other? Uh, oh, there's. Um, there's someone who has their hand up, but I think it's from earlier, unless they have another question. Okay. Okay. You can always type your comments in the chat box as well, if you feel that's an easier way for you to express them. In reference to another question. Yes, go you to You can another ask, um, what percentage of my personal value comes from spirit? That'll nail it. That will let you know if you're relying on other people for your personal value or you're relying on spirit. It's a great question. And if it's below zero, 100, then go to chart one and clear. This will affect relationships. It will affect your career, your business, how you promote yourself, how you feel about yourself, how you follow what spirit's trying to come through you. It will affect everything. If you don't value who you are, your vibration that you put out is of low value. Who wants to have a session with you if you're putting out low value, right? <laughs> so we got to work on ourselves to stay connected so that we have that value of spiritual presence. And that's what we give our clients, right? Yes, excellent. Those are, uh, I hadn't really thought of it that way, but I, I can see that that's what, what it is. So that's, that's very good. Different way to think about it. Yeah. And checking your value. That's, that's good. Yeah. I also yeah. took advantage of asking, valuing myself for some of the questions you asked earlier. And then I thought, well, what area in my life am I having trouble with having more fun? So I asked, I asked what percent do I value myself to have more fun yep. or relaxing? And it wasn't a hundred percent. So, um, went back and, and checked that. So great. Good. Maybe I'll have more fun now. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, also people are just wanting, you know, if you could repeat those questions again, they didn't quite hear, um, if you can repeat what we need to ask about spirit, that one about your value from spirit, can you repeat that? Okay, uh, what percentage of my personal value is aligned with spirit? What percentage is my personal value aligned with spirit? So what percent is our personal value in alignment with spirit or yes. aligned with spirit? Does aligned. it matter? Aligned. aligned. Okay. What percentage of my personal value is aligned from spirit? Okay. What percentage? <laughs> Get this. Do I rely on others? for my personal value. That'll That's be good. revealing. That would be revealing. <laughs> Anybody want to share what they came up with? Your so the question was what percent of my personal value is percentage of my personal value do I rely on others? So if that's high, that's not good. Is that no. good? Okay. Just want to make sure we're understanding the question. Mine was high. It was around 80%, which is not good. No, nope. clear it up. I know it's what I'm doing. Yes. Yeah. Good. All the other stuff was pretty good, but that one, not so good. Okay. Anybody else want to share? Anyone want to share what they got there? And then I'll get back to the other questions here. 60. Some people got 60%. 60. Mm -hmm. That's better than. That's yes, better. it is. That's, That's pretty better. good. 
You want to have zero, it sounds like. Though. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And remember, it, you know, don't feel like you have to be perfect on this because we live in a world with a lot of people and our culture is based on approval from others. So it takes time. You know, it's just the, having the awareness of this can be a lot, just see it as fun, fun, play a game because we live in a culture that's based on approval. Yeah, so, so what, yeah, so Lynn is saying, you know, that she'd realized that she had low self-esteem and so that was high. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to give people a definition. If you think about low self-esteem, that tells you you are settling for less. That's what low self-esteem does. So that ties into what Shotke is telling you mm -hmm. is um, you're settling for less and your value, your value is not being honored. So um, for those of you that have shared, it was 60%, it's 40%. This particular question, you'll want it to be zero. The other questions we asked earlier, you'd want it to be a hundred that you value yourself enough. And this one is about not giving your value to, uh, or having others dictate um, your value or looking for approval from others as your sense of value. Mm -hmm. So um, there was one other question too. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, one of the, Karen cleared hers up. Now it's 100% with spirit. Right. Wonderful. Well, with spirit, it's 100%. Yep. But um, so do you have any favorite affirmation, Shotkey, that you like for personal value that you want to share with anyone today? We talked about affirmations working only once you've cleared the blocks. My mindset of personal value only comes from spirit. Okay, so that's your affirmation. Yes. Say it again, please. My mindset of personal value only comes from spirit. So my personal mindset. My uh, mindset. Oh, my mindset. My mindset of personal value of personal only value. comes from spirit. Okay. That's like a, you know, you can see your mind kind of, it might fight it. <laughs> well, wait, I want them to like me. Oh, no, 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 no. My mindset of personal value only comes from spirit. Here, value this here. It's really a good one. It'll bring you back to who you are in present moment to who you are. Excellent. So people are liking that. Um, we're coming to toward the end of our uh, meeting today. Uh, we will have a closing meditation from Shaki, but wanted to just give you a moment if you had another question you wanted to put in the chat box or to ask. I'm looking for any raised hands. Nope. Okay. Yes, I would like to ask something. Um, sure. A part of the uh, basic and advanced classes, do you or the um, or do you teach the re, um, restructuring, spiritual restructuring class? Do I teach it? Yes. No. No. The restructuring. Yes. No, I used to teach it, but I, I don't anymore. Um, no, because I was thinking about you because I'm moving uh, to that area. So that would be perfect. Oh, you're moving to California? No, oh. I'm in California, but I'm moving close to your area. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't. Okay, thank you. I do, but I'm in Washington State. <laughs> but I Maybe do travel. Okay. Maybe I can come to visit you. <laughs> you can come and visit. I am typing in Shotkey's website and email in the chat box so you guys can have uh, contact with her outside the meeting. And Shotkey, I have your email as Shotkey at ShotkeyWilson.com, right? Yes. There's no period in between the words or anything. No. Okay. Let me make sure I wrote this right. Yeah, you know how things get. Okay, so here is her email that I just sent to everyone. You can look at that, Shaki, make sure it's correct. And then her website is themindsetcompany.com. 
themindsetcompany.com. And um, we're really happy, extremely happy, Shaki, that you not only came and shared your ideas, but that you, we also got to get to know you a little bit more. I think it's helpful for us to know each other. Yes. So it, great. Thank great. you. Yeah, it creates more community. So yes. thank you then. for inviting me. A lot of fun. You're welcome. It's our pleasure. And again, just a reminder to everyone, it's sponsored by the SRA and um, they have an SRA phone line if you're looking for a consultant, uh, if you need someone other than who you normally work with. And also that CEC classes, if you're interested in presenting one teachers, mm -hmm. let the SRA know that you'd like to do that. Maybe a short class on the mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> putting that out there. All right, so um, everyone's just saying thank you. They really appreciated the meeting tonight, thought it was great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And and they got some great clearing tonight. So what would you like to do for our closing meditation today? Shakti. Yes, let's just um, just take a moment to close our eyes and just take in what we talked about. Okay, so I'll just guide you through just a moment, a few moments. And just feel your body sitting in the chair that you're in. And let's know together that our, our time together is based in divine love. It's based in spirit. And that we know right now of our true value, that our true value is our connection to spirit. And we allow this energy to flow through us easy, to let go of any comments, judgments, and perceptions that anyone else has given us and we've accepted. We now know together that we let it go and that we regain our own personal value that we choose, that we are loved, we are connected to spirit, and we are open to serve in how spirit wants to work through us with so much love and joy. It does not matter what anyone else thinks. We are here to be guided by spirit and expression for who we are, for our unique talents and gifts. Just take a deep breath, let go of any of the judgments you received in the past, perception of others, limitations. Forgive ourselves for any judgments we've had on ourselves and forgive anyone else who's put a judgment on us that we accepted. We let them all go. We're so thankful our time together in community. And so it is. And just open your eyes when you're ready. Thank you, Shaki. We will be meeting again as a group in March. I believe it's March 11th, but there'll be an announcement going out. Deborah Ramos will be our special guest in March. And I want to thank all of you. Um, and thank you, thank you guys for your wonderful comments to Shaki and I about how much you enjoy this. And that, that one of them, Shaki, they said this is a game changer for them. So right. this is excellent. Yeah, Great. Rebecca, thank you for sharing that with us. Okay. And feel free to contact me if you have any other questions or you want to work some with me about these issues we talked about. 
feel free to send me an email. Yeah, and you can also find Shotki on the SRA website, spiritualresponse.org, under t um, teachers in the United States, well, North America, I guess they have it, in California. And you'll find that there too. All right, I'm going to stop the recording here.